Hey, I'm Francesca Ramsey, but most people online know me as Cheska Lee, and I also recently wrote a book called Well, That Escalated Quickly, Memoirs and Mistakes of an Accidental Activist. One thing that I think kind of really spoke to me was how important it is for successful people and anyone really to kind of block out those critics and naysayers. And I think that's something we all struggle with, especially because of social media. We can like hear and see what everybody is saying. And I know I'm guilty sometimes of being like, I wanna see what, what is that person saying? And I'm curious to just hear your advice when you're dealing with insecurity or when you are letting those negative things kind of get to you, what are some of the ways that you're able to kind of overcome these messages? It is messages? a great question and it is important for your generation. I talk to my kids about this all the time. What do I do? I turn it off. Mm. It's, it's like, <laughs> you wait, can't. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't read it. I mean, I tried everything. I tried reading the good and the bad and I tried reading in the dark and reading it when I felt good about myself. But I, I always say this, it's like you would never stand in the middle of the town square and let people spit on you. No one in their right mind would just show up and be like, okay, world, <laughs> just spit on me. Because that's what's happening. Yeah. It's like people are just spitting. They don't know why. They don't know you. They're just spitting. Why would you take that in? So it, it, it's developing the discipline mm -hmm. of when you're in those spaces, you, you can't read that stuff. Yeah. Listen, I, needed you, I, was, I needed you to tell me this girl, to make it real, and stop, now it's real. <laughs> stop reading that stuff. <laughs> what I had to learn was that it's, it's not about me, <laughs> you know, yeah. that there's a brokenness, and it's not even about them. Right, the people who are saying it, it's like there is a deep fundamental flaw in us mm -hmm. when we don't know each other. Mm -hmm. And when others are trying to use fear as a way to gain control, that's the thing that I had to learn and am still learning, that there's still a gut in me when I see it happening, when people refuse to see the truth mm -hmm. for what it is because of what they've been told they're supposed to think. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think it was important for people to fall in love with that little girl, Michelle, then take her through that period yeah. where you feel like they don't even know her, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And you can only go there if I go there, right? And I was like, I want every negative thing that was said written because I wanted people to remember that this happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. The, the woman who's an icon or whatever you want to call me. But if you can get through it, it's like, well then, we can get through yeah. it. Well, but you it's know. also a cautionary tale of see how quickly we demonize people we don't know. Yeah. yeah. And like gasoline on a fire. Well, thank you for creating a space for us to have those conversations. And like people are sharing the book yeah. and are having conversations about the book. Someone that you look up to to hear their challenges and to hear where they came from and to see them as a full person and not someone that you're putting on a pedestal is mm -hmm so important and I know that's why it spoke to me. So just thank you again for putting yourself into this book so fully and for taking the time to come hang out with us because it's still very surreal. I mean, <laughs> I'm not wrapping us up, but are we I'm just saying thank you because like I needed to say. <laughs> Listen, let's hold hands as many times as we want. <laughs>